stars doing millions of Americans do every day. Have a good time bowling. We got some fantastic people for you. Our lane number one dear friend of mine, one of the stars of the Mary Tyler Moore show, Gavin McLeod, and his partner, one of the best bowlers we ever had, Roy Rogers. <laughs> they will be in fierce competition. Our lane number two, a concentrator, a heck of an actor, Robert Cope, and his partner, funny man, comedian host, Dick Dawson. Hey, our celebrity bowlers will be bowling on a best ball system, hoping to win not only for themselves, but also for people in the audience who have a chance to win some exciting prizes. And we'll explain more about those prizes and uh, who our studio audience participants are right after celebrity bowling comes right back. <laughs> Selected at random and sharing the winning celebrity team's good fortune. Just who they are, let's find out. Gavin, who are you and Roy playing for? Uh, I'll say the first name Laura Powell. From Hawthorne, California. Hawthorne, Richard, and Bob, who are you playing for, Bob? Sherry Newman, Van Nuys. Good luck to both of them. Just, okay, just what prize the win is determined by how high you guys score. And we'll show you a little bit about our prize a little bit later on in the show. I might mention, too, there'll be a bonus prize for a team that scores the most strikes. There'll be a special prize for a team that scores three strikes in a row or a turkey. And we're playing in a regulation 10 frame game with one little difference, and that is our best ball system. I'll explain all about that. But Gavin, you can start on lane number one. Roy can start on lane number two. Bob and Richard can relax for a little while. I'll talk about best ball. You can start right up, Gavin. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, I'll give it to you. Okay. Best ball means that the team that counts only the first the first, the best first ball roll by, uh, by one of the teammates. And if on the first ball, you ever play a roll as a strike, that's it, that's all they can roll, because that's the best you can get. Uh, but if you play a roll as a strike, one teammate shoots for the easiest. Uh, that's not clear, just watch the action and show the other for the good time. Okay, here we go. Split for Roy, so Roy will come over to lane number one since that is the easiest spare to make. Roy will take it, and Gavin, you can relax for this frame, okay? Uh, Robert, we'll start on lane number one, and Rich will be on lane number two. It looks interesting, but on the outside, just missed it. Got an eye, picked up an eye. Robert Cole will be on lane number one, Richard Dawson on lane number two, and Bob will go first. Good ball, good ball. Ooh. All right. Left up four. Big Dawson left up four of them, so Dick will come over to lane number one. And you will pick up that four pin, Dick. Okay. Good hamburgers. Shoot first. Gavin will shoot second. Gavin, you can be ready. That's it. When you see a Roy shirt, he has a museum. Roy Rogers Museum. It used to be in Apple Valley. It's any move. We got a chance last night. Left up the practice. Kind of nice. Roy Bowles a nice guy, which is down about 184. Gavin's got it. Uh, Roy, go up to lane number two. Now, naturally, we pick Roy to pick the uh, pin due to the fact that Roy is a much more extreme bowler. He can pick up a single pin much more easily than Gavin would. In this case, I think he's got it. Nope. He's taken in by a hair. That's 18 for Roy. Gavin McLeod, Roy Rice have 18 and 2. Richard Dawson on 1. Robert Culp on 2. <laughs> Roy says he has a ball for quite a while, so we'll see what happens. 
first time back. Hard one, hard throw. Hmm. Good little action. Left up the one, two, four, and eight. Come on in, come on in, Bob. Come on. Okay, better. Take toss, we'll come over and take that. <laughs> one, two, and four, take it. It's a lineup for you. It's a nice close line. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, my. Gavin McLeod on row eight, number one. <laughs> Gavin, you're on one. You go first. Royce on two. It's 18 to 16, the end of two. Favorite Gavin McLeod, Roy Rogers. Over. Robert go. Richard Dawson. Seven. Yeah, you got your right side for two. Good. <laughs> Don't let him teach you again. Yeah. Uh, uh, Robert Cole. I'm lane like number one, Bob. I'd like to thank my teacher, Julie London, who worked so hard. <laughs> It's coming in good. That's good. Come on. Good try. Good try. Nine. You should have had that one. That was a forfeit again. That's why that four sticking up there a lot. He's dropping kind of like Dick. You got to come over. Pick up the forfeit. Come on. Pick up that spare, Richard. No, second mark, Dave. You got to keep up with them for that spare. Yeah, we're working on a spare take. You need this. Yeah, shake it off now. Pick up that spare. Working on a spare. So I'm with Cole Richard Dawson having 25 and 3. You go, Roy. Yes, sir. You're working on a spare. That's going to come in. Right on it. Oh. Just missing those marks. Come on, Gab. Come on. So, Gavin. You pick this one up. You, I got all the faith in you. Just, that's right. Roy's telling you right. Okay. You can do it. You may get it. You may get it. Come on, come on. All right, Richard, come on now. Put it in the pocket. Very good. Very good. Put it in the pocket there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob is very discouraged that he can't bowl. He's taking the ball back to his seat with him. <laughs> Gavin, you go first. Working on a spare, Gavin. <laughs> Good close game. <laughs> uh, all right. Still working on that first ball, right? Robert Cove on one. Roy and uh, Gavin, you can relax at the halfway point in the game. You can sit for a while, catch your breath. Okay? You're working on a strike. You have 57 to strike in the fifth. That's a good ball. 
be there. Mm. All right, put it back in the pocket, Richard. Oh my! This five nine now. Like, now let me say let me say this. It's very important, Dick. Yes. No, for yourselves. Yes. Now they go. He's got it. Yeah. And that's the halfway point. So let me pull it. Yeah, we're going to run around with the fifty seven working on the strike. Some contestants receive a supply of cream eggs. Quick cooking macaroni never sticks together. Make we are at the halfway point, Celebrity Bowling. The score is Gavin and uh, Gavin McLeod. Roy Rogers have a strike uh, in the fi 57 and 4, working on a strike in the fifth. Robert Culver to Dawson at 45, working on a spare in the fifth. <laughs> Let's find out what Sherry Newman and Laura Powell can win if their celebrity teams win for them. In order that we might bring you the full 10 frame game, our celebrities have already bowled the sixth frame with Roy Rogers getting a spare. They have 77 with a spare in the six, Gavin and Roy. And uh, Richard Dawson and Robert Cole have a 62 working on the spare, and Dick got the spare in the six. Gavin is shooting now in the seventh frame. Little action there. Small split, baby split. That can be paid. I'm just hoping. Has to go for it, man. Yeah, <laughs> so, that looks like it's coming in pretty good. Uh, well, there isn't much choice in that, Roy. You got the baby split on one, yes. That's rough and that's fair. That's the way it is. You got a 95 and 6 now. On my right, by the way, I have not mentioned this young man named. Ooh, close, but. Young man named Don Russell is helping out keep his score, keep, keep any bowlers on their toes. He's a professional bowler. He's one of those big up there today. Okay. No. No, Robert's on that one. Doesn't matter. He made the spare there, but Rob. He made the spare there. Choice. You took your choice. Oh. Yes. Oh, we had to go back there. <laughs> yeah, the seventh bit of pickup. Robert Cook. 147 for Gavin McLean. Roy Rogers. Oh, he may have that. Get over there. About an inch or two. Okay, Gavin McLeod. Roy Rogers on one. Gavin McLeod on two. <laughs> Ooh, seven ten. That's that's a seven ten. Seven ten split. Five hundred to one to make that. Gavin McLeod. Good action. That means a Roy will come over lane number two. He'll pick up Gavin Spear. Yeah, three. This game is not that far away. Fourteen pins separates the two teams at this point. Open frames. He may have missed that. Yeah. Come on now, Richard. Put yes. it in the pocket. He did miss that. Need a strike. Roy's <clears> having a tough time picking up those pants. One pass for it. He hasn't played, he said, in a while. There. Oh, God knows. He got good. All right. Come on, Richard Fartner. And should spare this to keep things going. He's got to tighten it up right now. The spare is very important. There are no, there is one strike in the game. That's it. Ah. Oh. Now who could have figured that? All right, let's go. Gavin 
Cloud on one. Roy Rogers on two. 113, you're leading by 14 pins, fellas. 14 pins. You can use a mark to block it up, and they need a strike to move it to tie you guys or get it close. Good action, but yeah, good action. Doing good, yeah. Doing good. Fun. Six pin up that thing. Roy's coming in on the right side. Could be good. No, bro, come over and take that. Play number one. <laughs> He's got the spare. <laughs> That's kind of uh, six a little bit. Let's go uh, Robert Cup on lane number one. It's a tough, it's going to be very tough unless they start striking out a little bit before uh, Robert can Dick Toss to come back. At the rate they're going, they got a shot at the King Kong Mergers. Strike out. Yeah. Hey there. Oh my, 710 again. Killer 710. <laughs> Come on, Richard. Put it in the pocket. Mm, damn. Oh my. Oh, 108. 108. That's the Roy Rogers on 10. Final frame, Roy Rogers and Gap McLeod. Roy, you're on uh, first frame. You're lane number one. And you go first. You're working on the spare. You're not quite locked up yet, guys. You got two more to go. Right now, right? You got two more to go. Sure you do. Gavin, you can sit down. You don't have to do a thing anymore. You're all finished. I love you, but you're finished. Yes. Okay, right. Get a boss of 163, which can get them the lazy boy recliner. You got one more? Boss of 153. <laughs> He's got the five left. And that looks pretty good. That's it. 153 for Captain Clyde. Game's already won. We're running a little bit late. Game's already won by Captain Clyde and Roy Rogers. So we're going to be right back after a while. They'll finish up this final frame. We'll be back with our stars and our prizes right after these. Wait. <laughs> I like to see that final round match. Thank you, celebrities, very much for being on Celebrity Bowling. See you next time, everybody. Bye bye.